Hello and welcome to another X-Ray Tech video. Today, we're gonna to be answering the question, what are automation platforms? And more importantly, how do they work? So tools like Zapier, Integramat, and all the others leverage something called APIs in order to communicate from one software to the other. Now, an API is part of the fabric of modern software. It is an application programming interface that essentially allows software to talk to each other. Modern software will have an API for the back end to talk to the front end, so the data to talk to the user interface that you actually see and click and touch, but it'll also have an API for external things to communicate to the tool. What tools like Zapier and Integramat are doing is leveraging existing API calls and putting a UI in front of it, putting an interface for you, a non-technical person, to be able to just click and drag and input whatever information you want to show up in the tool without needing to learn how to write an API call. You can leverage the power of modern software through automation without needing to learn how to code. So we've seen this all year. We've seen historians and accountants and lawyers and philosophers and all types of people with very varied backgrounds able to build stuff that they need and want to see in the world through automations. So it's not just about adding a email to a spreadsheet. It's about learning how you work and knowing the things that you need to get done and automating some portion of it. Because if you are able to create that automation that you can rely on in a consistent way, then you're able to focus your work and effort on things that actually require human attention instead of button pushing, right? You're not here to push pixels or to beat up robots, right? You're here because you're trying to get more done with the same resources that you have. So I hope this video has been helpful from a conceptual standpoint because automation platforms and the ability to leverage them is ready and available for everyone. There's no real technical hurdle for using no-code platforms at this point. You should be confident enough to be able to give it a try. And with this video, I hope that you can see how the fabric of modern software has made it possible for no coders like myself to be able to do a lot more of a non-technical background. So I hope this video has been helpful. There is so much more to say about no code and low code and automation platforms in general. And this space is just going to keep growing bigger and bigger. We really think it's the third wave from the web developer to the app developer. That third wave is gonna be the automator. So I hope this video has empowered you to take the first step and give automation a try. As always, links and resources are in the description down below. And don't forget, keep the flow.